Hello! Today I'm going to share a vegan dessert recipe with you. I'm going to make the sweet brunette or salda brunette, salda des as we call it in Latvian. I think the closest thing to it in the western world would be the rocky road. But here in Latvia it's a classic dessert, it's so sweet, so chocolatey and kind of really unhealthy. <laughs> But to splurge yourself, especially if you're a chocolate lover, as yours truly, it's just great. So to get started, you need to gather all your ingredients, which will be 300 grams of dark chocolate, 200 grams of marmalade, just make sure that it doesn't have gelatin in it, 2 tablespoons of coconut oil, 100 grams of vegan cookies. I used chocolate ones, but you can use any flavor you want. Basic works just as well. And two handfuls of almonds. Here again, you can use any nuts you want. If you don't want nuts, don't use nuts. Also, roasted peanuts work really good in this. So the first thing you want to do is to break everything in smaller pieces. I started with the chocolate since we're going to melt it soon after. With the cookies, there are options. If you want the dessert to be more chunky and feel all the cookie pieces, then uh, leave them in slightly bigger pieces. <laughs> if you want it to be more smooth, then try to use a blender and get them to a really fine consistency. And same goes with the marmalade. If you want it in smaller pieces, then just cut it in smaller pieces. If you want it more chunky and feel different flavors of the marmalade, then just leave them in bigger pieces. As you see, I prefer it kind of chunky. If you want to make it easier for yourself, then you can put some oil on the knife and it should make it less sticky. And then just combine the cookies, the marmalade and the almonds together. Again, here you can grind almonds if you'd like. And it's really important that you mix everything really, really well together because oftentimes the marmalade, it just likes to stick together in big pieces. And unless you're into that, I don't think you want like a big chunk of marmalade in one part of the dessert. So just keep that in mind. And now it's time to melt the chocolate. I did it on a double boiler, but I guess you can also do it in a microwave. And to it, I added two tablespoons of coconut oil. So just wait for everything to melt and mix well so that the coconut oil is well combined with the chocolate. And now you can add your cookie and marmalade and nut mixture to the chocolate and just mix everything again really really well so that all the pieces are covered in chocolate and everything is well combined. So when that's done just put it in a baking tin which was lined with plastic film so that it's easier to get it out once it's hardened. Another option is to make like a sausage from the mixture but I have never tried that because I imagine it would make like a lot of mess so it's just easier to press it down in a tin and make a shape and that's that so once you do it just put it in a freezer or the fridge for an hour to harden and meanwhile you can just scoop out the leftovers from the bowl because that's just what you do <laughs> And that's practically it. When it's hardened, just take it out of the freezer or the fridge and serve it and try to make it more than just one dessert or one meal. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the recipe. I'm really looking forward actually to sharing more sweet recipes because I'm a dessert girl and sweets are life and sugar is life. So I hope to meet you again here soon. And meanwhile, just take care, enjoy life, <laughs> bye.